Hi, my name is Michael, and welcome to my YouTube channel. You know, as a kid growing up in the 1980s, um, I used to watch a lot of sci-fi. Uh, I had a little Star Wars then, and Star Trek toys, and He-Man toys, and so forth and so on, G.I. Joe action figures. I used to watch all kind of sci-fi movies like Close Encounter of the Third Kind, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, those kinds of things. Uh, I also want to say that I was also in the church. <laughs> I grew up in the church where um, every Sunday we'll talk about uh, heaven and hell and celestial beings and uh, those kinds of things. And uh, because of those things being ingrained in my head over the years, and uh, I began to think about what is it really all about? Looking beyond sci-fi, what are the facts? What are the evidence? Is there any realness in it? Uh, where we are, who we are, what we're all about? Why was the world created? So forth and so on. I wanted to know what the truth was. And at that time, yeah, I thought maybe some of that was real. and Some of it was props and those kinds of things. Uh, I know through scriptures, you know, we, uh, our ministers would teach that uh, it's uh, Bible knowledge and all that is based on uh, our faith and, and belief. You know, what do we believe about certain passages in the scriptures? You know, and uh, and it, the Bible is a great book, a great piece of information in regards to life and humanity and how to treat one another. But the question is, how true is it really? There's a lot of contradictions in the Bible. There's a 30,000 plus contradictions. But uh, at the same time, you'll find some truth in, in, in within <laughs> those hidden co those contradictions that are in Scripture. But, uh, and then, uh, after watching Close Encounters of the Third Kind and E.T. back in the 80s with Drew Barrymore, uh, I, thought, I thought about, is it, is it true? Does aliens exist? I used to watch movies about that that I indicated earlier. E.T. was one of my favorite movies. And um, I also enjoyed, like I said, Close Counter of the Third Kind, Star Wars, and Cars Strike Back, et cetera, et cetera. But in regards to UFOs, I was thinking, so how did Hollywood know to make movies like E.T.? You know, how did they know to make movies about aliens? You know, there's a movie, in, uh, Sigourney Weaver, it came out in 1986, 87, and there was a sequel to the movie Aliens. How did Hollywood know to think and be creative in that regard. So they must know something. And so that's how I became interested in a possibility of heavenly creatures out there. And, and as I was saying earlier, you got other information out there, you know, in, in the Bible and uh, philosophical books that talk about nature and, and time and space. But what makes it more real is that people have actually seen sightings of UFOs. That kind of puts it all together in a way. According to Cambridge English Dictionary, a disbelief is a feeling of not being able to believe that something is true or real. Now, watching these movies, as I indicated, we know it was a movie. We believe that those are characters in the movie. We, we believe that, yeah, it's, it's possible that, um, you know, somebody can get inside of an aircraft and fly it from point A to point B, and that would be the end of it. But when you have an E.T. on a bicycle in the air, or if you have an aircraft without a fuselage going from four to 500 miles per hour, and even faster than that, that would wake you. That, that would wake you up. That would open your eyes to something that could be bigger and greater than ourselves. In addition, some people may disprove what they've seen. 
because it's so uh, it's so beyond our human comprehension that our brain says it cannot be real and so we automatically dis try to disprove something that we are not comfortable with it becomes false or wrong in our minds it can't be real I can't see what I thought that I just saw the part of our brain there's a part of our brain called the frontal lobe it controls our beliefs and how we believe certain things and how things come together that changes our belief mechanisms. Our mental representation of the world around us, what it does is it helps create a process of thinking. And that comes through the amadola and the hippocampus part of the brain. When we think uh, or hear stories about the presence of extraterrestrials in our environment, uh, the frontal lobe of our brain, it becomes activated uh, to a disruption of what we call a commonality of everyday events within the norms. See, the commonality and the normality of events that happen on a daily basis does not call for any disruptions unless something supernatural, something of a strange phenomenon takes place, then the belief part of the brain, the uh, frontal lobe, becomes activated. And that takes the stage uh, in the center of our thoughts. Dismantling a disbelief of alien presence in our environment uh, would have to be proven with facts and evidence. Evidence, And what that does is it shapes our belief system. It helps us to understand and put things into place. According to United States Air Force, investigations of UFOs from 1947 to 1969 uh, the fact sheets show a total of 12,618 sightings that were reported to Project Blue Book during that era. The ancient uh, Greek philosopher Epicurus argued that there are infinite number of worlds in the universe that exist. An infinite number of worlds means an infinite number of heavenly creatures in the universe that are not bound by time or space. Some scientific experts say there's a 44 billion aliens of various species living in our solar system on these planets. Others say it could be up to a trillion or more. We just don't know. According to NewYorker.com, extraterrestrials life have appeared in our skies as well as in the exosphere. On October 19, 2017, Robert Work, a Canadian astronomer, used his Pan Star 1 telescope on top of a volcanic peak on an island of Maui, scanning the skies each night viewing near Earth's objects. Work noticed a dot of light that uh, caught his attention uh, moving more than 400 times the speed of an asteroid. According to work, that dot of light was moving 200,000 miles per hour. That strange dot of light has become known as the famous Amor Amor. Amor Amor. It is some kind of strange uh, cigar-shaped craft, a UFO craft that scientists have found in the uh, exosphere that has alerted NASA and has uh, brought worldwide attention to these natural phenomenons that we see across our skies. Furthermore, according to a recent YouGov poll, in 2022, 34% believe 
UFOs are alien related, while 32% believe there is a natural scientific explanation. From 1996 to 2022, there was a decrease of 19% that UFOs have a natural scientific explanation, according to this particular poll. According to the same poll, 24% of Americans say they personally seen a UFO. About 43% believe the UFO they saw was a result of a natural phenomenon rather than an unnatural phenomenon. We believe there's some kind of natural uh, scientific explanation for it. As of September 9 through 12, 2022, a total of 43% worldwide say a ufo is a natural phenomenon that this poll came from other countries say that they could not identify about 34 percent of americans living in this country and abroad have the same view that it could be real uh, alien related while 23 percent of americans are not sure. These are some of these are Americans living here. Some are Americans living abroad with the same uh, uh, view uh, of alien life, whether it's connected with extraterrestrials or if it's some kind of government made craft that is uh, not the same as um, their view of um, extraterrestrials. So it is important to note uh, there is 196 countries in the world. UFO sightings have occurred in every country, including third world countries. Furthermore, in America, California leads the states in most reported UFO sightings according to the uh, National UFO Reporting Center. Florida comes in at number two according to National UFO Reporting Center, GNC, when it comes to uh, the numbers of UFO sightings. In addition, UFOs can be found in areas of high activity, nuclear facilities, military facilities, large bodies of water, secret underground bases all over the world. These UFOs and extraterrestrials are among us. They are in our skies. They are in the exosphere. They are not bound by time and space. And scientists know this. They are closely in partnership with certain uh, races of aliens. There are several uh, species of um, extraterrestrials. And scientists know who they are. They are here, and they're among us, and they have been among us for a very long time. It's just some Americans, um, because they have encountered encountered any, uh, they assume that they don't exist. Uh, but uh, uh, according to Roswell and other events that have happened over the past 50, 60, 80 years, uh, there are strong evidence of information that uh, there are extraterrestrials in our environment. Conclusively, there is a difficult and impossible to imagine experiments and extremely advanced technologies that proves the existence of aliens in our presence. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel.